This is breaking news. Breaking news from Flint Cooper from Lint Harbor 98.5 Action News. It has been reported to me that the Rogue Blanketeer has been spotted in our lovely little city. Please avoid him at all costs. He is armed and dangerous. I repeat, armed and dangerous with fabric softener. If you have seen him, call our local police at 1-800-TAKEN-BLANKETS. That's 1-800-TAKEN-BLANKETS. This is Flint Cooper. It is I, Fred McGinnacutty, the rogue blanketeer, and I must thank you for allowing me to escape with all these fine quality blankets which I can now add to my collection. And to think that I could have the police do it all for me. <laughs> I better get this guy. He stole my blanket as well as my precious Afghan lamp. And I don't like it when people steal my Afghan lamps. Officer Bumble, what are you doing? Shh! I'm trying to catch the rogue blanketeer. He'll never suspect I am here. <laughs> oh, right. I'll leave you to your work then. What we have here? It seems I have an invented guest. Uh. <laughs> Can't do anything about it. Uh. No. <laughs> How are you today? Ooh, I'm an Egyptian. Yes. Well, it looks like he's no problem to me. Send them off! Well, looks like I let him go again. Oh well. <sighs> what do you want? I like water, please. But stirred, not shaken. I'm not good enough for shaking. There you go, ma'am. Ma'am? <laughs> Officer Bumble! What are you doing in a bar? You're supposed to be on duty out there. Inspector, the rogue blanketeer, no matter what I do, he always escapes from my clutches. No matter what, it's just frustrating. Remember, what happened to the Titanic? When that guy upstairs was looking for the iceberg. Okay, wait a minute. Yeah, that didn't work out too well. Remember Custard? When he was... No, it didn't work very well either. Um, remember the police officers that were on duty when Jack the Ripper was... Uh... No, how about you just get out there and do your best? That would make me happy. Just remember what I would do. 
and just do the opposite. The Everybody was kung fu fighting. Every cliche you can think of. Yes, Inspector, I'm gonna go out and get that guy. Thanks for your motivational speech. Off he goes. Oh, I need a drink. Same thing that he had. And now, time for an adorable cat break. That's right, an adorable cat break. Oh, look at the kitty! Look at the kitty! Look at the cat! Oh! Okay, that's enough. Time to resume our regularly scheduled programming. Section 257, you are forthwith suspended from the force without pay. So now you have reaped what you've sown. Go and be off. I've had enough of your foolishness. Well, looks like Bumble got himself in a little bit of trouble. Color me shocked. But three questions remain. Why does Inspector Pantsloons wear a teddy bear bathrobe? Does the bartender always just shake his head at everything? And will there finally be an epic confrontation between Officer Bumble and the Rogue Blankets here? Tune in next time to find out. Red Velvet Cheesecake Better than the Tin in the Cake